The Super Mario Bros. 2 Mushroom opens up so many opportunities for unique and enjoyable level design. Today, I'm going to show you 12 ideas that you can use in your Mario Maker 2 courses right away. By the way, if you want me to play your courses and give you feedback, I play viewer levels over on Twitch three times a week. Check out the link below. Let's get started. Luigi enters a forest to go for a light jog. He meets a rocky wrench who wants to race and decides to accept the challenge. In this course, Luigi needs to devour the Super Mario Bros. 2 mushroom, pick up the rocky wrench, and throw him before running. The rocky wrench can travel through walls when thrown and can destroy all enemies that he touches. Luigi needs to keep up speed, otherwise these goombrats and pipes won't spawn and our friend Rocky will fall downward into the abyss. If the rocky wrench makes it to the end slightly after Luigi, an on-off will be triggered and the pipe will open up. As Luigi's running, he'll have to act quickly to keep up. Claws and small gaps force him to use perfect timing. He'll need to practice his precision swimming to get by these deadly pokies. If Luigi can manage to move quickly while avoiding danger and opening pathways, he can get his cardio in while finishing the race. Luigi decides to practice his jumping skills in space due to low gravity. It figures out that only the enemies are affected here though. In the night airship theme, Monty Moles will fly slowly when thrown, but Luigi will act the same as normal. This is a perfect way for Luigi to create a flying platform to jump across large gaps. In this course, Luigi will have to carefully throw the Monty Mole, jump on it, and jump off at the perfect time. If he falls, hidden blocks indicated by this track will stop him from cheating his way across, and he'll need to try again. Here, the mole can bounce between two sideways trampoline walls to create an elevator for Luigi. As a final test, Luigi will have to pick up a mole through the semi-solid, bounce him carefully, and jump over the bouncy wall to victory. After the Monty Moles helped out his brother, Mario wants to help them out to return the favor. In this course, Monty Mole is stuck and needs assistance to find his route through each puzzle. Each room is a new challenge for Monty. Mario will have to go in, think about how the Monty Mole will move in the maze, and dig up cloud blocks using his Super Mario Bros. 2 mushroom powers. Once he feels like he opened up the pathway, Mario goes down into the control room below to activate the on-off block and let Monty free. If the mole can make it across safely, he tosses Mario a key to the next room. And if he can't make it, Mario has to face these toothy piranha plants instead. As he completes each room, the puzzles become more challenging. He needs to incorporate trampolines falling now by pulling the correct ones from the clouds above. He can also use the donut blocks to drop them down in the perfect spot for Monty. Once Monty and Mario finish the final room, Mario is proud of his good deed and leaves the mole in peace. Which power-up do you like better, the Master Sword or the Super Mario Bros. 2 Mushroom? Let us know in the comments below. Luigi wants to have some fun in the snow. With the Super Mario Bros. 2 Mushroom, he can now make a snowball from any ground tile in the entire level. In this course, Luigi will have to use his new powers combined with snowballs to progress. Snowballs can destroy POWs to remove munchers and become a platform for Luigi to stand on. As he progresses, Spike adds some snowballs of his own. He can use their giant snowballs to soar in the air or as a moving target to jump on. Because spikes sit on top of a muncher, they can change direction but won't move. Bullet blasters can add rolling snowballs that fall for a tougher challenge. Luigi will have to put all of his skills to the test to make it through this winter wonderland. Luigi's always wondered what it would be like to be a mushroom. In this dream, he becomes the Super Mario Bros. 2 Mushroom. In the night ground theme, the Super Mario Bros. 2 Mushroom jumps whenever Luigi does. Using custom auto scroll combined with scroll stopping, Luigi can sleep underneath the stage while we focus on the mushroom. Each room has a test for Mushweegee before he can move on. If Mushweegee can jump on the note block, a giant spike ball appears to break the scroll stop and push him forward to the next room. Mushweegee will have to overcome different obstacles in each room. He doesn't take damage from munchers, so he can jump over them to activate a note block and angle the seesaw. If Sleeping Luigi has access to an on-off block, he can move bullet blasters on a two-state conveyor belt and help Mushweegee with careful timing. Once Mushweegee activates the final note block, 
he can awaken Luigi from his slumber and move on. Now that Luigi has his new insider knowledge, he figures out a way to channel his inner Mushuiji. Every time he jumps in this cavern, the two state blocks change. The stage is set up so that each room has this contraption just off screen. How does this contraption work, you ask? Well, it's actually surprisingly complicated. We know that the Super Mario Bros. 2 mushroom will jump whenever Luigi does in the ground night theme. Then, we have the mushroom bounce on this note block once and fall off due to the slope and a mushroom platform underneath. Then, we place a buzzy beetle attached to the bottom of the note block so it will fall when the note block is hit. Next up, we need the on-off block, conveyor belt, and one-way gates so the switch is triggered and the shell stays close. Finally, we add a sideways spring and a claw to bounce the buzzy upward and a blue platform to catch the buzzy beetle again. As Luigi goes throughout this course, the contraption will make sure that the blocks switch on every single jump. He'll need to think ahead and fight old habits to jump only when the blocks are transparent to make sure to survive. If he can master the art of switch jumping, he can safely survive this mysterious cavern. Be sure to give the awesome creators of these courses some love by checking out the level codes in the description below. Luigi's brain hurts after that last idea, so he wants to go on a wild ride to relax. In this course, he'll have to rely on his enemy surfing skills using the mushroom. When he starts the course, Luigi rides a bullet bill through the sky. He needs to duck under pointy spike traps and jump at the perfect time. Bullet bills can fly through walls, so he'll need to catch up. Spicy fire flowers fly towards him, enticing him to eat them. But if Luigi eats anything spicy, he can't surf anymore. Each section of this level adds an extra item for him to surf on. Luigi will have to jump back and forth between the enemies to avoid pain and lasers. He can even step on bob -omb safely to stay out of trouble. Once Luigi avoids delicious temptation and pain, he can complete the wild ride and continue on his journey. Feeling good about his surfing abilities, Luigi enters a deadly castle only for extreme surfers. In this course, he'll have to ride bullet bills just like before, but now needs to also pick up his board and redirect it to survive. In this area, the lava slowly rises, adding a time pressure for Luigi. He'll need to carry a spare bullet bill while jumping on a different one. He can release his spare and make it across this big gap. He even needs to reuse the same bullet bill to activate this on-off switch and then return the same direction he came. Falling cannonballs can be a great platform if he lands on top of them, but Luigi will need to have perfect timing to jump across. If he can make it to the top without being scorched by the hot cherry juice, Luigi can safely exit the pipe with surfer bragging rights. After escaping the heat, Luigi goes to a nice, relaxed, and cool underground course. In this one, he'll have to work his knowledge of the Super Mario Bros. 2 mushroom mechanics. In this section, he uses a sideways spring to manipulate thwomps. Every time he throws a spring, the thwomp moves slightly to the side. He can use it to make a giant thwomp open up a pathway ahead. In the next area, Luigi needs to pick up Spike and use him to open the pathway. Spike will throw his orbs when Luigi is within the line of sight. Luigi can climb these vines to get Spike to trigger the on-off block and open up the path. Luigi's hungry for these delicious coins, so he needs to activate the P-switch. To do so, he picks up a giant cannonball, throws it through the wall to destroy a Goombrat, and allows the muncher to drop down. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to devour that delicious like button. The last course was nice and relaxing, but now Luigi wants to see if he can find a combination of tough puzzles, speed, and technical skill. In this level, he will have to use all of his skills to progress. Each room has some sort of timer to show Luigi how fast to move. If he's too slow, he gets stuck and needs to restart. When he picks up a bob -omb, it becomes a deadly weapon to slide through enemies and kill them. It can also destroy hard blocks or be used as a platform to move through a pipe. Luigi can use a Goomba as a moving target platform and as a weapon to push through obstacles. He'll have to quickly use his extra jump power and destroy a giant piranha plant using Goomba allies to grab a bob -omb and escape. Mario wants more friends, so he chopped down a tree and made a log. 
Loggy and Mario are best friends and do everything together. Mario can pick up and throw Loggy to complete unique challenges. Loggy allows Mario to enter doors that are a bit too high for him and can even do it while on a conveyor belt. Loggy has some interesting relationship with springs. Here, he can slightly push it to become a platform for Mario to jump on. Loggy can also push springs left or right by landing in the space that the spring occupies. Mario loves his new friend and can't wait to go on more adventures. Ludwig makes fun of Luigi for not having a friend made of wood like his brother. In this battle, Luigi will need to defeat a winged Ludwig while cannonballs shoot upward. While Luigi has the Super Mario Bros. 2 mushroom, he can stand on this cannonball ground safely. Since Ludwig has a muncher on his head, Luigi won't be able to jump on the turtle to damage him. He'll have to pick up pieces of the cannonball ground to throw them at the best-haired Koopaling. If you want to see 20 incredible Koopaling ideas, click on the video on the screen right now. For more Mario Maker 2 inspiration, be sure to subscribe and click the bell. I'm Aristotle, and thanks for watching.